guys what is happening welcome back to another video here on national blogs uh today is a little bit of a story time video because today i'm going to be telling you how i got into theme parks as a kid so let's take you back to around about 2007 so i first went to a theme park in 2007 which was uh polton's park here in the uk um and the first the main reason I'm telling this or, or doing this story on video to tell you how I got into roller coasters because a lot of you know I love roller coasters and um, I thought I'd tell you how I got into them. So 2007 I did my first ever non-inverting coaster which was which is still at Poulton's Park. It's been operating for 20 years now. Uh, at the time it was called the Stinger. Uh, which was then re in 2015 to Caterpillar Coaster. Uh, and it's a Ziera Tivoli, has a track length of 652.9 feet, has a maximum height of 19.7 feet, and has a top speed of 19 miles an hour. Now, the stats doesn't make it sound fast. But on the back row of this coaster, I've noticed this with quite a few, like Tivoli, um, with a lot of uh, similar Sierra Tivoli coasters, is that at the back they're more faster, or from the middle to the back they're quite a lot faster and they don't feel like a family coaster. Uh, but yeah, that was the first coaster I did, like the first non inverting coaster I did. And I'm not going to lie. And I did it on my first go, it was right at the back, and I hated it. I absolutely hated it, hated it, and I didn't do a roller coaster then till about 2010 when I did my second ever roller coaster, my second ever uh, non inverting coaster, which was also at Poulton's Park, which opened in 2006, called Cobra, which is a Gerslauer bobsled coaster which has a track length for 1,476.4 feet, has a maximum height of 54.2 feet, and a top speed of 31 miles per hour. Now, this is the thing about Cobra. Despite its stats, it's not that impressive. It's a little bit rough, but I've noticed that with quite a few girls loud coasters I've done, and they have that odd jolt moment. Yeah, but it wasn't until 2013 when I did my first ever inverting roller coaster. And I hear you ask, what was that coaster which was my first ever inverting coaster? The coaster that would get me into going upside down on coasters. It was Klondike Goldmine, which used to be at Drayton Manor from 1994 to 2005. But when I did it, it was at Funland Hailing Island. Uh, and uh, just a couple of stats about Klondike. It's a travelling coaster, um, but it's uh, it's manufactured by Pinfari. It's a ZL42 model. It's a track length of 1,197.5 feet. Has a maximum height of 36.1 feet. Has one inversion, which is a 31 foot tall loop. Now the thing is about these Pinfari ZL42s is. They are infamously known for being rough. For example, like the likes of Turbo up at uh, Bl uh, Brighton Pier, which I'm going to be doing in a few weeks. That is known as one of the worst, uh, one of the roughest uh, ZL42s. But I'll be the judge of that when I go up there in about two weeks' time. Um... But yeah, the first time I got in the queue for Klondike, because it was in like a tunnel and there was no lights whatsoever, it was pitch black. And because it was right next to the track, the thing is about those coasters is going into the station, it would have two loading stations. So it would have where you actually get on the ride and then an exit station. Um, and it would go around like a little bit of track. And as it came in, the brakes were kicking. So all you do is that, like that. But that that's all you'd hear and in the tunnel it was so silent you wouldn't hear it and then all of a sudden like that uh yeah uh so the first time i did it 
I was on front row. One thing about the ZL42 that I've noticed is that the front row is actually rougher than the back, in my opinion. So, obviously, they have the over the shoulder restraints, which are fucking painful. They, they were literally just taped together. Uh, and then you went out the station and up the lift hill. You'd get, then when you get to the top of the lift hill, you do a turn and go down your first drop, back up, do another turn, which was right next to the log flume. So when the log flume was going around, you sometimes could see the logs going around. Uh, and then you went down into the loop, round into a helix and into a few tunnels and stuff. It used to have some theming to it, but when I went on it, literally the year I went on it, all the theming was taken away, or was starting to be taken away, whether because it was starting to rust or not, because it's literally by the sea. So, um, yeah, and that's how, really, I got into like inverting roller coasters and theme parks in general, and then obviously the next year, I did my first ever trip to Fort Park, and the rest is history. Yeah, guys, that's the end of my story telling you how I got into theme parks. Uh, let me know what your first ever uh, non-inverting coaster and your first inverting coaster was. I'd like to hear that. Anyway, guys, this has been another video on National Vlogs. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe because at 400 subscribers, I'm dying my hair blue. So if you want to see that, hit that subscribe button. Anyway, guys. I've been Nasha. This has been another video on Nasha Vlogs. I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe and peace out.